All right, now we're re-reviewing the stuff that I thought was awesome that he has not had yet. I originally got two six-packs, one that we did for the review for today, and then another six-pack of uh, just mixed stuff that I loved. And this was one of them, and I figured, hell, I might as well bring them since he has not had them. I've mentioned this many times to him, and now he, uh, he popped a boner as soon as I showed it to him. This is the Abita Giacomo, Giacomo, whatever, IPA. This is the best IPA I've ever had. Joke. That was Marshall. <laughs> Which Marshall has not got the uh, big Jamoke out yet. It's seasonal. It should have been out this month. Really? Yep. So I need to go buy Broadway Liquor and see if they can do an order on it. I need to call them. See if any liquor stores finally got any of the freaking six point Budweiser products besides the freaking uh, Lime Ritas and Strawberry Ritas. Those are the only two things that Shock I Shock Talk and Rolling Rock. They actually got those in now? Yeah. Which I did the Shock Talk. When I was in the city, I called three different liquor stores, and the only thing any of them had was Lime Rita or Strawberry Rita. I was like, you know what? I'm getting pissed because it's two weeks since the law passed, and nobody's got anything but Lime Rita and Strawberry Rita. How, how, how long does it take to drive to Arkansas? An hour and a half? Yeah, it, it's been very <laughs> freaking tempting. If I still had my bike, which I might mention, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have poured that so hard. Um, I've had this beer three times, counting the review, and two of the three times it spewed over upon opening it. Hey, and you can kind of see why. It was warm enough when the law passed. If I'd had my freaking bike and they didn't have it yet, I would have drove my bike on over to freaking Arkansas, fill it up again like me and John did that time. You get like three cases on your bike. Yeah, more than that, if I uh, take a ratchet strap and put it on the sissy, the uh, pitch seat back, tie it down. Although I can't do that because it's only a, a law. Two cases per person over the age of 21 that can buy it and transport it across the lines. Mm. If, our, if the law is still the same from when I just looked at it. Am I the rest of it? Yeah. It tastes or smells more of a, like a grapefruit, but trust me, it's, it's good. Did you say anything on it? No, what's the alcohol? 6.5%. Uh, Indian Pale Ale, brewed and bottled by. He knows the name. Abiti? Abita. Abita Brewing Company. Abita Springs. Louisiana. Louisiana. Whatever it is, I keep saying Jamoke, but Jamuco or whatever, <laughs> is an American IPA brewed with pale red and caramel malts. This copper colored ale is liberally hopped and dry hopped with Willamette Will 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 and Columbus hops. The flavor is bold like the Mar Mara die? Marty. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Mardi Gras. <laughs> Indians. Who marks through New Orleans in suits of feathers and beans. Mm, it smells more like the grapefruit, like I said. But it's all good. Yeah, a little bit of carbonation. Yeah, very little. But from the top, yeah, it's got some heavy head if you pour it on. Yeah. The caramel malts really come through. Really, it really does. Through. As soon as it hits your mouth, you taste caramel. Like I said in the original review, um, you get a slight cola flavor, to be quite honest with you. I can see that. Which I ranked this, I think, at 8. That's what I, what I gave it. Out of uh, what, ales? Yeah, IPA. Yeah, yeah, IPA. What is it, International Pale Ale? Yeah, which, look at that head. Yeah, it's got some thick head on it. I like it. I'll use one of his lines. I can get that one that. Yeah, exactly. It's not that bad. It's got a little bit of a, a bitter aftertaste, but not bad. You know what I mean? A little bit of a tingle of the bitter So the thing is, you know, it's, it's got the hops in it, but you're not getting the typical grapefruit or the piney hops. You're getting that caramel. Yeah, you're getting more caramel just, cola. It's, it's, on, it's, on, it's on its own, pretty much. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't had a hoppy one that tastes like this before. That don't look right at all. Use a gallop of that or and a show. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have to break it up to a nine. I'm going with an eight. His original. I like it. Right, I'm going to go with the eight. Because it's not too overpowering. What bitterness, <coughs> you, get, what bitterness you, do, you do get is not the typical bitterness you'd be used to. And that caramel flavor of the malt just come through nicely. And even though there is bitter, it's not overpowering whatsoever. And it's only really on the aftertaste. And, and it's just a slight bitter. Six and a half percent? Yeah, that point is really awesome with it because there's no way in hell you can drink this beer and you tell me that it's a six and a half. And it's a refreshing beer. You're not getting the, the terrible dry mouth. It's a little, very, very little dry. Uh, you're not getting the, you know, with, with typical. IPA, you're not getting that, that dry mouth. Yeah. Well, I like it. And he's over here shooting his gun. Cannon. Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, big, uh, I'm sorry, that's big Jamoke. Jacomo IPA. <laughs> I'm we got a big Jamoke on our minds. I'm waiting for that big Jamoke to come in. That's, a, that's the steak that's beer. That's a good shit. Logan. That's the steak beer. Bazooka uh, has some flavor. Yeah. By Abita, and uh, I will get it again, just, oh. like, just like I have any time before. And I give it a solid nine, eight, nine, nine. You give it eight. Yeah. You switched on. Yeah. And next one, let's go ahead, go ahead and do that. 